are no longer in the deck. Welcome everybody to this top four match. Everyone coming in from YouTube and or Twitch. We are in the top four of the Champions League Sapporo. We have the first seed in the tournament, uh, and I believe the, I don't know the other seed, but it is a Lugia V-Star deck up against a Maridon deck, a real David versus Goliath situation here, Victor. Uh, what do you think the Lugia can do to actually come back into this game? Especially losing the flip, what is the Lugia's win conditions besides just Maridon breaking, I guess? <laughs> Yeah, weakness really hurts for sure, but I will say one of the lose conditions for Maridon is actually what's happening right now, that squawk being prized. So if your hand is just really bad, normally squawk is what gets you out of it, but that's not an option unless you find a heavy ball or something like that. So it's possible Lugia can win. It's best of one, anything can happen. Exactly, but there's Tatsugiri now that gives us a little bit of extra reach in the Maridon deck to find supporters in the mid to late game, especially with the escape board. Um, but one thing to note is that the Mew being prized is quite a big problem because Mew yeah. is like the extra reach as well for Maridon. Yeah, um, so both of our reach cards are prized. Um, but by going first, we can also set up an early Iron Hands. And if the early Iron Hands takes three prizes on a turn turn to Lugia, that's, that's crazy. Like Lugia just goes down three prizes and the game just began, you know? And it looks like there are multiple copies of Double Turbo Energy because there is one in the hand currently. We're just counting out all of our energy pieces. Um, smart uh, here from the player. They are just checking every resource real quick. You are in top four of a Champions League, effectively a regional championship. It's probably wise to play to your outs and play it correctly from here on out. You can see the Legacy Energy, one of the new A-Spec cards, is prized from the Lugia player. Uh, Legacy Energy does provide a energy type of all energy types when attached to a Pokemon. And also when the Pokemon that this card is attached to is knocked out, uh, you take one less prize card. Smartly enough, we're grabbing a Raikou as well because Raikou attached turn one is all Maridon really needs to do to put a ton of pressure on Lugia here. Yeah. Um, and it's from that position, it's like, what do you what do you really do? Like, you're going to lose a Lugia, you're going to go down two prize cards. And no matter what you answer with, if an Iron Hands comes up and kills your Manchino, they take another two and you have a V-Star on board that you can't get rid of. What have you seen in the hand so far? I know you said you saw a, a double turbo. What else is there? There's an escape board. There's a research. There's an Arvin. Um, oh, there's a lot. There's there? a lot of juice in that hand. So next turn, yeah. there. I think the top deck was a research to save the Lugia player's hand. Because oh. I don't think they had a playable card. So we're gonna no. There, there was an aroma. I'm tripping. So there's gonna be an aroma here. I think we're gonna be looking for another Lugia to put into play. A heads. Arcaps is fine, but I see. I think I see two or three Archeops already in the hand. Um, so if they don't find a basic Pokemon here, it could be just lights out. Um, but I do see a Carmine in the hand as well, which is a fine supporter to play. Carmine is a new supporter coming out in the Twilight Masquerade set that allows this player to discard their hand and draw five. And this card can be played if you are going first. Kind of a cool inclusion for something like Lugia. Maybe some other decks that want to turbo out. Maybe like Maridon can play a copy of Carmine. Because uh, if you just luck into it in your opening hand, I don't think it hurts to discard your hand and draw five, potentially. It's like an early squawk. Um, counting all of our resources here. Once again, absolutely smart on both players' sides. Prize checking is an art. I don't think it should be, but that I'll hold my opinion on that. <laughs> um, I think Carmine Carm makes sense in, Lug in a deck like Lugia because it makes your Lumineon have like dual utility, whereas like you can use Lumineon as you normally would, or you can use it as a pseudo squawk on your first turn, which is kind of neat. Yeah, and, and and discard draw five sometimes. Like the Carmine also makes it so like you can have a reasonably playable hand moving into turn two, or you can find like that you have a better way to find Lugia on turn one because right now you don't have a ton yeah. of great ways. Um, there is a lot of yeah. I, I think I see a mist energy in the hands. Um, maybe the Lugia I just don't know what's in the Lugia player's hand maybe there's no supporter Collapse Stadium hitting the board limiting their own board and there's a Carmine discarding four Archeops can I get a four of a kind right here ladies and gentlemen that is crazy all four Archeops hitting the discard pile turn one we're going to see five oh, new cards. Need a basic. We there need a basic is so bad. No basic oh. Pokemon in oh, this hand. No. Oh, no, no, no. Lugia Vistar. We're going to go ahead and see 
the Lugia player go ahead and read the wind. But this might be the only wind they're going to be reading. Because we're going to get to see... We need a single generator hit. Arvin for electric generator and sealstone. I think I would so I would go so far as to say that we use the sealstone and grab the second generator to thin another card out of the yeah, deck. Yeah, just th yeah, I agree. I would do that too. And we go ahead and I would also go ahead and use Maridon to grab ourselves two extra cards to thin out of the deck. Pogo Zapdos. Um Probably another copy of Hands or another Maridon, something that can just attack. Raichu also seems fine here. Anything, really. Uh, just use the Sealstone preemptively. There's just no reason not to. You want to thin one extra card, always. In this situation, grab there we go. the generator. Two chances. All we need is one energy card. And Maridon will be on its way to the finals of one of the biggest tournaments of the year, proving that it can still survive in a format with all these new tools. And yeah, Electric Generator, let's see it. One, two, three, four, five. Face down for dramatic effect. No energy. Oh, God. Now we're left on a 50-50. Oh, oh, Either God. we hit it or we don't. Okay, well, I don't know about that math, but... Hey. Let's see. If we do hit it here... That would be absolutely legendary. If we whiff here, the Lugia player still is not in a good spot. It's still like absolutely terrible. But two generators would be down in that situation, and you would get a free knockout, which is still pretty nice uh, from the Lugia player. Yeah, but, it's not terrible. I think Lugia would but, be. But they can just go into the Zapdos, right? And just your one prize knockout doesn't do anything. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. There it is. Two energy cards sure, to the surely. Raichu, attaching three, just for good measure, just in case our math isn't there. There's the knockout. And Maridon moves into top four, just or sorry finals, just like that. We were we were talking about Victor. We were talking about Squawk. We were talking about Mew. All these cards that could potentially make an impact, just just didn't need it. Didn't matter at the end of the day. Yeah, the Arvin for the generator, Sealstone for generator, ended up being just enough. It did help that the the opening hand was pretty decent, where you actually got to play the game a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. You had either the option of the Arvin or the research, so the Squawk wasn't needed, and unfortunately. For Lugia, didn't hit that lose condition. And this player oh, also wow. sequenced almost... I think this player sequenced not almost, but perfectly to pull the correct yeah. resources out of the deck at every given moment, optimizing their odds. And the top player must do that because in a game like this, you saw the first generator whiff. Maybe if they didn't sequence it correctly, that generator, second generator might have also whiffed. It's, it's, a, it's a game of percentages. It's a game of odds at the end of the day. And that is the Pokemon TCG here with us. This was the same player that donked the Zapdos, by the way. So They have moved into top. They won their top eight and top four match with two donks. Insane. Hey, happens. Maridon, you got to get streaky. You got to get lucky. It's the lightning flash for a reason. It's the future, baby.